Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here for Beautiful Beauty. Going to be doing a product review. Going to be talking about conditioner bars today. Okay guys, first off I will say I love shampoo bars. I love conditioner bars as well. I have been using different brands, different sources, different makes, different models of shampoo bars as well as conditioner bars. I've been using those bars for about, oh my, at least four and a half years if not even five years by now. So what I'm saying is I have, I really do have a lot of experience with shampoo and conditioner bars. And I have been able to obviously learn and tell the difference between ones I like, ones I don't like, ones that work with my hair, uh, ones that smell great, you know, what works great, what doesn't, what, you know, mediocre, whatever. So anyhow, moving on, um, we're gonna be talking today about the Lush Jungle conditioning bar this is a really popular bar um, I bought two of these I've been using these for months now I've been using the lush jungle conditioner bar in conjunction with the copperhead lush shampoo bar that just seems to be one of my favorite ones I do like the Jason and the argan oil shampoo bar but I really feel that the copperhead is is better now the Copperhead Shampoo Bar is not the best shampoo bar I've ever used, obviously, but it is an okay bar. So I've been using that in conjunction with the Lush Jungle Conditioner Bar. Now these conditioner bars do have a different consistency. They are a little bit smishy, they're a little bit squishy, they're a little bit uh, sticky, they're a little bit um, moldy, um, like, I don't mean moldy like as in mold, I mean, uh, like clay like clay mold the consistency of it is more like what I meant I, I don't mean bacterial mold or anything like that I just mean they're kind of squishy kind of gushy obviously you want to keep them dry in but in between you know shampoos and conditioning in between washes take care of your bar I take care of mine they last longer that way now on to the review finally first off I have dry damaged hair I have naturally wavy hair. I have a little bit of frizziness with my hair, uneven, unevenly textured hair. I've got a lot going on. I have long hair, thick hair, a lot of hair. Yeah, naturally wavy, a little bit of frizziness, uneven texture. Uh, my hair is very dry. It is damaged. It's chemically processed. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I play with my hair. I play with my hair probably a little too much. You know what I'm saying? Okay, um, on to the performance of this bar. Well, first off, let's address the smell. Mm. Very, uh, very strong, Whew. very citrusy, very, a little bit of a masculine touch to it, honestly. A little bit overpowering the smell department. Yes, I know Lush is known famous for their smells and scents and aromatherapies and flavors and all that. I'm not feeling the flavor. I'm not feeling the scent, the fragrance, the smell. I'm not feeling it for this product. I'm not over the moon in love with the odor. And as a matter of fact, I've heard a lot of people tell me that the odor is a complaint and an irritant to them and they do not like the smell. Um, it doesn't really irritate me, but I'm not, I'm super not wild about the smell. Okay, but if a product works really good, I get past the smell. You know how that goes. If it works great, I'm going to just press on through it, even though I have a scent sensitivity issue. But anyhow, the performance of this was very lackluster. It was a very okay product. It was a little bit less than mediocre, I would say. I've used a lot of shampoo bars. I, I mean, well, shampoo bars and conditioner bars. I know conditioner bars are a lot more rare than shampoo bars, but I have used a ton of other conditioning bars before that worked far better than this. I get a lot of my conditioner bars from Etsy and eBay, um, soap makers, people that, you know, handcraft, wildcraft things, makers, some really great stuff. This is just a lackluster product for me. So this is the Jungle Conditioner Bar. And what it says it does, it says it hydrates the hair. It says uh, rich, fruity hydration. And let's see, let me see, let me see, let me see. It has, there's the ingredients. I want to show you guys the ingredients. There's the ingredients. Actually, cocoa butter usually works very well for my hair. Typically it does. This product obviously has cocoa butter in it, but it's just... A conglomeration or a mix of other ingredients whatever it may be this did not work that well for me so there's the ingredients I want you guys to be able to make your own decisions be aware and all that and I will say this that 
it is a bonus that uh, you know they're cruelty free at lush that is always a perk a bonus a benefit that's probably the only reason why i keep coming back and keep repurchasing and rebuying uh from them you know what i mean Let's see what else i can tell you about it here Basically, it just says it's for uh, dry, frizzy, dull, frizzy hair. It's for curly hair. It smooths uh, curly and frizzy hair and things like that. And that's supposed to be the attributes of it. Quite honestly, I don't feel it did that at all. I will tell you this. Um, it is a very difficult bar to use. That's another complaint. I hear that from a lot of my patients, my clients, my customers at my work. I have various jobs, so I, I get a lot of a beauty talk, a lot of hair care, a lot of skin care talk, and we talk. And lot, lots of times that's how you get the reality on products and be more realistic approach-wise as far as is it a good product, is it not, is it all hype, is it over-touted. Um, you know, is it a YouTube famous thing to where it's it's over, um, you know, blown, which a lot of products are. And that's a sad thing. It's really sad. And I super love YouTube, but that is a, a little bit of a, a downfall. But anyhow, this uh, is very difficult to use. That's been a complaint. And what I mean by that is you get it wet, you try to lather it up with your hands, uh, and you feel like you don't get enough of the product on your hands to smear through your wet freshly shampooed hair you don't feel like you get enough product on your hands so um, you find yourself having the tendency to wanting to slide the bar th down your hair through your hair especially on your ends always concentrate conditioner on the ends my ends are split they're dry they're damaged my ends need help my ends need my ends need to be thrown a, a life vest or something a life raft literally but anyway <laughs> you see you know what I mean uh, a lifesaver ring but um so you find yourself having the, you know, tendency to take the bar and slide it through your hair. Uh, and that kind of creates a little bit of a, a clumpy mess and your hair wants to stick to it. And that's no good either. And I've actually heard of people, this is my second jungle bar, by the way. I think I already said that earlier, which I know for a fact I did. But um, I've heard a lot of people say before and how they like to use it is they will melt it out. And um, some people will cut it into small chunks and melt it out in pieces like in a Pyrex, uh, you know, measuring cup or whatever, something microwave safe. They like to put it in their microwave and melt it out and put it... Um, throughout your hair in the form of a like a hot oil liquid which a lot of people do do that I have not done that because I feel like honestly I, I paid for the bars and I pay to have a conditioner bar and not hot oil treatment you know what I mean if I want to buy a hot oil treatment I buy a hot oil treatment I mean heavens knows I spend billions <laughs> upon billions on hair products literally or at least it seems but um you know if i'm gonna buy a hot oil treatment i'm gonna buy a hot oil treatment i don't feel i should have to chop this sucker up and put this baby in the microwave and melt it out and make it into hot oil now granted for a lot of people that is the way it it the only way they could get it to work which i totally get that i understand it but the whole point of having the bar to me is having the bar you know what i'm talking about um and I, once i was able to work enough into my hair and i've been using this for months by the way this is my second bar um once I was able to work it through my hair, I don't feel that the conditioning effect was uh, astounding. I don't feel it was good enough. I don't feel it was adequate enough for my hair type. Very little conditioning went on. Um, it, if anything, it just took the edge off my tangles. It did not do much for a conditioning effect or being very emollient or, you know, putting back or delivering moisture back into my hair or anything like that I did not get that effect unfortunately I what I got from this was a very light conditioning effect and what some other people like to do and um, they like to leave it in they like to you know put it through their hair and not rinse it out and leave it in for me that just feels a little sticky for me to do that I'm not gonna try it that way because I feel like if if I try it that way then you know what the heck just get a you know a leave-in conditioner which i have a bazillion leave-in conditioners what the heck get a leave-in conditioner you don't have to rinse it out or anything like that and I, I don't want that residual residue left in my hair some people do that and it does work for them yes my hair type i'm not feeling that that would even be feasible to do you know what i mean so all in all um very over the top with the smell very fruity tooty slash masculine smelling and um, I don't feel the bar lasted very long either. My first bar did not last very long. So 
you know, I mean, of course, they're made to melt. It is conditioner, but you know, you know what I mean? Mediocre product, guys, mediocre. If you're looking for a very light conditioning effect, a very light conditioner, if your hair is like that and you can get by, you have maybe a very normal hair type and you can get by with a very light layer of conditioner, rinse it out, you're done, you're on the go, whatever, then that's great. But my hair, no. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And it is summertime and my hair needs all the help it can get. Like, throw me a life raft, seriously. Or better yet, a lifeboat, you know? Um, okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed. That's my honest uh, take on the Lush Jungle Conditioner Hair Bar. That's the truth, honesty, and reality. That's how it worked for my hair. That's how it worked for me. That's how it rolled for me. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, but, you know, uh, just the same. If you love it, if you like it, if you love it, if it works leaps and bounds for you, I think that's totally great. And I'm super happy that it works for someone. For me, mm, eh, meh, you know, lackluster. Okay, guys. Love you so much. Take care. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Be sure to give me a big, huge thumbs up. Bye now.